So this is about to be a fun video. I'm not really sure how fun it is because I'm not a beauty guru, meaning I really can't give you so many spectacular tips on how to do your makeup, but I can show you how I can do my own makeup. Well, I'm not really sure why I'm so dressed up with this diamond or faux diamond necklace, but I figured I would make the video look somewhat cute. I thought it would probably like match my head wrap because it's got like chains and diamonds in it. You guys know I love it anything that looks cute or at least I try to be cute honestly I'm really hot with this extra set of clothing on so let's just take this off and have fun I think I'm just gonna go back to I, I really do am. love a nice faux diamond necklace and some little studs but I'm saying I'm not really going anywhere so I'm not gonna fake the funk for this particular video so you guys know Riri Rihanna Fenty is like really popping and popular right now it's trending on YouTube but I don't really have any of that Fenty stuff okay not a lick of it in my makeup collection I'm gonna tell you why because it wasn't free I love free stuff and that's why I always tell you guys check out oxley.com because you can get a amazing free stuff so for this entire video I have like some really high-end stuff that was definitely 100% free the only thing that I have to do to get this stuff and to keep getting this stuff is to do a video like I'm doing right now if you guys make videos social media whatever and you want some really good free stuff definitely check out Oxley. They've got Mac, they've got Kevin Aquan, they've got Urban Decay, they've got Estee Lauder, they've got Lancome. they got a whole bunch of stuff that you girls would love to get for zero amount. Either way, all this stuff that I'm about to show you is from Oxley. Look, Oxley.com. Some of the things weren't like the Too Faced stuff, but whatever it was not sent from Oxley, I'll definitely let you guys know. So we're going to start off with this Fix Plus Matte Spray, which everybody always raves about. I did actually use this in like years, years, and years, and years ago video. This was also free. It came along with some other things, but I'll definitely show you guys that. But yes, this is like a really big hit with MAC. So the next thing that I'm going to use just to get my eye area ready because, you know, I'm older and I do have like kind of like crow's feet, dark circles, fine lines. I'm going to go ahead and use this Lancome Eye Cream. This stuff works really well. It kind of gives me moisturization underneath my eye area where I need it the most. But within a few weeks, so it says it will diminish those fine lines. So I have been using this not on a regular basis only because I don't put makeup on on a regular basis but I like the consistency of it and trust in mind this is going to be a long video okay so it kind of gives me like that silicone feel or what have you and I have to watch out because my nails are super sharp my makeup looks are basically what pleases me and I'm more or less like a neutral girl. I don't really like all those crazy, crazy colors, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use this Lancome um, Corrector Camouflage Concealer. This is the color that they sent me, it's a piece me, I love it. When I first got it, I was like, girl, this is not gonna work for you. But it actually does work and it brightens up my under eye area, so I'm saying. Now for me, I always like to put a little bit at a time. Underneath my eye area, it gets a little bit cakey and dry. I need a little bit more moisture than most, and it gets a little bit dry, so I don't like to put too much. Um, I have oily skin, for one, but what I do notice with a lot of people, they really set their under eye with a lot of powder. Let me tell you, I have tried that. I have followed behind you guys on numerous occasions by using like massive amounts of powder to a little bit of powder to set my under eye concealer and either way it doesn't matter for me because I'm so like oily but underneath that area it's kind of dry so I'm gonna just be honest I don't really like to put too much set and powder underneath my eyes now that I went ahead and did that um, definitely check out Oxley I got this for free loves it now to set my concealer right here because I'm not gonna put on some eyeshadow primer all eyeshadow primer is is concealer I'm gonna take this which was also sent to me for free by Octoly and I'm going to apply this to my lids which is the max fix studio fix prime um, pressed powder color I have is NC 42 
I absolutely love this stuff, okay? This stuff really works for my oily skin, my oily ass skin. It works amazing. So I would highly suggest checking that out. Now let's get on to the fun part. So I was sent some of this by MAC, which is from Oxley, and this is their Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow. Now first of all, it's really tiny. They're really tiny, but you guys see I've been using this stuff. So you can take my word or not that it's good, okay? So the first color I'm going to use in this palette is the Bamboo. Uh, I love this. This is like a, a amazing transition color, but it, I think it really depends on your complexion. I'm just going to sweep that into my lid. It brings back more or less, it brings back my natural kind of color with a hint of a tan to it. We don't always want to wear makeup, okay? That's just not our thing. I definitely don't always want to look like I have makeup on, but on top of that, I definitely don't want to look like I have cake face. Oh, I can't stand to have too much makeup on and plus being out here in Arizona it's super duper hot and I'm super duper oily so makeup and heat and oily skin do not mix. So I try to get that beat face but with, without all of the makeup. So this color bamboo is absolutely stunning for me. Like I love it. And now I'm going to go into this color which right here is another one of my favorites which is called Outre Like the Wig. It is called Outre and I absolutely love this color. Use one of these really cheap brushes. <sighs> which is one of those unicorn brushes. I absolutely love these. You can get these from Rose Gal, which I did get a set of 12, but I will be honest and tell you, you gotta be really delicate with them because they are not the heavy-handed brush holder's brush. They're plastic, so they're very delicate. But I love this color right here, which is more or less like a sand color. It gives me even more of a neutral look. You guys know I'm a neutral girl. Okay, so now into the palette, we're going to take this color right here, which is in the middle. This is called Mocha Minded, and I'm going to take like a little brush, like a little brush. I didn't really bring that little brush, but I'm going to take this little brush right here. Excuse me, not that one. This one right here, this color right here, which is called Dance in the Dark. When I say a little bit, I only mean a little bit because... This is not going to be my color of choice, but I'm just going to kind of like use it, and that's about it. I know you guys are like, girl, you're using all type of brand brushes. I sure am. Wet and wow, unicorn brushes. I even got some matte brushes too. Now into this color right here, which I was talking about, which is Mocha Minded. I'm going to use this brush right here, which is the MAC 217. I've had this brush for like since 2009. And I love it. And a great dupe for it is the Sedona brush, which I have been using. But yes, this color, this brush is like amazing and so is this color. I'm going to take that color and just brush it all in. It kind of gives me like that darker look, which I love. Oh, yeah, sorry. For some reason, I think that the white bristle brushes are like the best, especially by MAC. And if you cannot afford the MAC brushes, definitely check out Sedona.com. I do have a link below where you can pick up their makeup. SedonaLace.com, in case you guys like, is that a wig company? It's not a wig company. They sell makeup, but the only thing that I... Um, I love their brushes. Their brushes are like an amazing dupe for any MAC brushes. Really great brushes. Yes, honey. You guys know I love anything neutral. So the only color I'm going to mess with now in this palette is this one right here. Everyone's Darling, I think. It's like a really pretty matte color. gonna brush that on gorgeous color um this is something really neutral like I said and this brush that I'm using is actually from the Dollar Tree which is the wet wow okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use one of my favorite liquid eyeliner it's the NYX vinyl liquid in black I love this and I think it has a lot to do with the actual brush
another free product that I got a minute ago from Optoly was this right here, which I actually kind of do really, really like now. And this is the Black Ops Mattifying Tinted Moisturizer. The color that I have is the 02. Um, it really does work good, um, especially if you don't want to put like a whole bunch of cake face on. So it's a, mat a mattifying tinted moisturizer, which is great for those who have oily skin like myself. And it gives me like a hint, a tint, a tint, a tint of color, okay? Now, I could just go out like this, because like I said, I don't really like cake face. That's just not my thing. I'm going to use this, which I have been using for days now. This is the Next to Nothing Face Color. It's by MAC. It's a, an illum illuminator. So if you don't want really like a lot of makeup on, you just want kind of like a little hint of tint, but you want your skin to look somewhat even or dewy, then this is great. The color that I have is medium to dark. Like I said, it's not a foundation, so you're not going to be able to build it up and get coverage. But like I said, if you want something like an illuminator, this is great. I mix this, I put this on, and then I use my powder so then I don't really need too much. This is great for me. I don't really need too much. I'm gonna let that oxidize on my skin for a second. I'm gonna go back into this peach by Lancome. And I'm gonna use that. Along with that, I'm gonna also use some Jordana Cosmetics, which is super cheap. Mix them two together. That's a lot that I mix, but. I hate to have foundation on my lip. I did mix it with the back of this brush. Okay, so while that is like setting into my skin, I'm going to take one of my favorites, okay, my favorite, which is the Too Faced, this is my favorite, and this is a Bayer Dark Chocolate Soleil Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. Okay, so like some areas people would set. For me to set it, it would make it really dry. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Fix Plus, Studio Fix Plus again. For me, I don't need a lot. I'm going to go ahead into this right here, which is by MAC. And this is also sent to me by Octoly. This is their Glow With It Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This color is called, like I said, Glow With It. Now I'm going to take this Kevin Aquan palette. This is volume 2 in the contour book. Now I've used this quite a few times. I'm not going to say I'm like a favorite fan of like the contour colors because they're more or less kind of cool. And so like everything I don't use cool. I don't really like cool tones too much. First I will put on a warm tone and then I'll definitely put on a cool tone. But it did show you how to apply it if you choose to so you can contour your eyelids and your eyes as well as your face. So these are the colors for the actual cool tones to contour the face. So I would definitely go ahead and use this but I will use it really lightly and I will probably use it like how I'm using it here underneath the cool the warm tone because like I said I don't really like too many cool tone colors on my face 
But what I do like about this palette the most is this right here, which is the candlelight cream and the candlelight powder highlight, as well as the eye highlights. I'm not like a huge fan of these colors right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color right here, which is the a Ruddy Earth, and it's a very pretty color, and I like to use it underneath. Probably went a little bit heavy-handed this time, but okay, it's still like a really pretty color. And then I'll take this um, brighten it's called. You can use that in your inner tear duct. Now I really like to put eyeliner down on the lower lash line because for some reason it just gets all over the, the place after it's applied. So I just don't bother with putting eyeliner on the lower lid. So these also were free products from Oxley, which is the Lancome um, mascara. These are both by Lancome. This one is the Hypnos Drama, which I do like. The brush is a little bit smaller, but I'm going to use the Monsieur Big, which I really do like the most. And this is just for my bottom lashes because you guys know I have on falsies on the top. Go ahead back into this Max Fix Studio Fix Plus powder. They did send me some brushes. Um, they sent me this one right here, which is the 141S, and I guess it's the contour with it. I didn't really even care for this brush too much. It was kind of stiff and very dense, but I do like this one right here, which is the 140S. I'm not really sure if this is what it's for, but it works really good for me. So I like it. And it does have like a sponge applicator with it, but I'm not really into the sponge applicators. So yeah. Also to bring out my contour, I do use this matte, matte blush from MAC, which I've had for a while, which is called Film Noir. It's a really dark, deep brown, and it's beautiful. It's matte. I don't use a lot of it because it's very dark. It's like a reddish brown, but it's a warm tone. But I kind of use it underneath. And I go very light with it because, like I said, it's a very rich color. Now this I did not get for free. I purchased this and I absolutely love it. Next is I will go ahead into the skin finish again and I will kind of like give myself a little bit of a bronzy look. Now, also, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back into this Kevin Aquan palette. Use this candlelight cream very, very lightly with the back portion of this damp sponge. And this is just going to help my highlight stick. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this right here, which is very, very pigmented. But it gives like this a really pretty color. I probably went a little bit too far overboard. That's okay. Now I want to try this new Becca Lavender um, skin finish. I've heard really great things about it, and I love Becca. I love their champagne pop which I use a lot it's very pigmented so I mean I'm not really into the colorful highlights but listen look at the packaging it's really pretty it was free you guys all right so I've got my fan brush here all right okay so So this is the Becca side and this is the non-Becca side, this is the Kevin Aquan just only side. So now we're going to, I like it, it doesn't give um like a purplish tone, maybe because I already have something on, but honey, yes, like I'm saying, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my lips with this MAC 
prep primer. You know, I was sent this along with this right here, which is called Dance With Me. This is their mattifying liquid lipstick. Now, of course, you guys know I don't do red, so I'm definitely not going to put this on, but I will swatch it for you guys so that you can see. Um, it's a very beautiful, deep red. For some reason, me and reds just don't get along, meaning I really don't know how to put on a red lipstick. But my daughter Tati does, and she really does like this. This is a beautiful holiday color. Every time I swatch this, it just reminds me of Christmas. Christmas! But this MAC Prep Primer is really great. It's just a lip balm. And for those who have dry lips, like myself out here in the desert, this is amazing. Especially if you're going to wear a matte lipstick, you definitely want to put like a nice matte lip balm on. And this is one of my favorite colors, which is really inexpensive. This is by Absolute New York. It's called Brown. I love anything that has a neutral color. So there you have it. That is my lipstick look, but not totally finished. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this LA Girls Metallic Metal Liquid Lipstick. This color is the GML. Um, it's called Smolder. Okay. And to set my face, I'm definitely going to go in and use this Fix Plus again because everybody else be using it. So I'm just going to see how it works. But I will say this, I'm loving the highlights, okay? Do you see that? Like, I love a good neutral eye. Like, seriously, I love a good neutral eye look. I went from blah to this, which is absolutely cute. I just really wanted to show you guys the new free products that I did receive. But you can definitely check out Oxlix.com if you want some free stuff. I tell you guys this will be a long video. I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. All of the info links will be below for you guys. And on that note, see you soon. If you want to know what was my favorite product out of all the stuff, I would definitely say this uh, 9 eyeshadow palette by MAC was amazing. And I also do love this Becca cosmetic cosmetics um, skin finish it's absolutely gorgeous and as well as that as I have been finding that this fix plus by max has worked really great for my skin tone especially if I don't want to wear a lot of foundation in the summer heat then I definitely just have been using this for like two weeks since I've gotten it girl does like the Kevin Aquan palette but I don't really like everything in it the only thing that I would really highly love love is this cans like powder right here these are really really pretty um these colors I'm not like a cool girl like I said but I do love these two as well if you don't want a lot of foundation on your face then definitely try this which is next to nothing as you guys see I just put that on my face and I was just floored by it but I did mix it with this right here which is the black ups mattifying tinted moisturizer in the color zero two and it works well so yes you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely stay tuned all of the info will be posted for you guys below I love you let me know what you think of my neutral beat Face. But yeah, so this is my everyday beat. This is the Not Beauty Guru look free makeup on your face. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.